So if you're a blender artist and you're looking for a dynamic set of trees that you can use to do some interesting things which are pretty inexpensive and has both the deciduous and the coniferous type of trees that you can work with then Treezy might just be the one for you as Treezy now has a brand new update as it allows you to prune and also animate the growth of your trees and for those who like to get this you can simply go over to the link in the description I'll bring you right here where you can download it and start playing with it and with that said let's dive right into it. So, once you download the add-on, this comes with two files, the very first file which you have to install and also another one which you have to extract where the library exists and how this works is super easy. So Blender simply opens right here, all we need to do is go over to edit, go over to preference and go right here and go over to the add-ons to install it. And once this installs, you need to point the preference to the folder where you unzipped the files and with that done, you need to click on the bugger menu and save preference and once you do that next thing you need to do is to tap n on the keyboard and right here you notice you have treesy so within the treesy section you have the coniferous and the deciduous trees you can click on any of these and bring them right into your scene and you can click on the spawn tree to bring them right here so there's a couple of cool things that you can now do with this despite the fact that you can convert this to static mesh randomize the transforms how you want reset the transforms play with the distribution so in this case if you like to play with the distributions of the flower you can do that you can also do the same thing with the leaf so we can drop the density so i'm just going to go ahead and select that so we can drop the density and we can increase the density you do have options of all of that now despite the fact that you can do these and even a lot more the two interesting updates here are the growth modifier and also pruning so if you click on add growth modifier automatically this would add an animation that can allow you grow any tree right here so we can simply go to any of these right click add a keyframe drag this over to say frame 20 and we can animate this all the way up right click add a keyframe and automatically we now have a growth animation and this is the same thing for all the trees that exist here so whether you're trying to play with some of these deciduous trees from spring summer autumn winter or you want to play with the coniferous ones you do have all these options and i'll definitely suggest that you go ahead and check them out and next update that this add-on comes with is branch pruning or the tree pruning so for this i'm just going to go ahead and hide this and we'll go over to the deciduous go right here we'll have the spring because it's a bit more fluffier select the european spawn this tree right here here, scroll all the way down and we're gonna make this local so once we make it local we can start doing some cool stuff so at this point once we make local you will notice that we have the cut branch now within the cut branch section what we can do is simply go to any of these views that we want so for example we want to go over to this view and we can click on cut branch and it gives us two options the close cut and the uv unwrap cut we're simply going to stick with the close cut and click on ok and automatically this gives us the annotation tool which you can use to cut so i can just simply cut this that way and this would automatically cut the tree we can prune this tree this way as well and we can do something like that and you can see we do have some very cool stuff so in case we would like to also cut some parts as well we can cut that part out and we can also cut this part out and this will be really useful for those who like to style their trees probably you want to add some effects to it at any point in time you want to escape any of these you can hit the escape key or you can undo by hitting ctrl z in this case we're just simply going to escape and we can also go all the way back do the animation if we want enable the editing if we want more so we can animate this so we already talked about the fact that you can make this grow you can actually animate this if you want so we can go down here and we can add wind so in this case we can choose to add any kind of wind and also press the playback button you can see this is animating so you can also play with the strength of the wind if this is how much you want and you can play with the modulation as well so you do have some interesting options and also some advanced options that you can choose to play with so this is it treezy is now available this is a beautiful dynamic set of tree tool that i would definitely suggest that you pick up especially if you would like to add a bit more dynamics to your scene and for sure you can also check out some other tree tools that also exist that you can start playing with links to all of this is going to be in the description so do well to check them out tell me what you guys think about this one in the comment section and of course if you like this video or you like something from this you can go ahead and give a like and don't forget to share with a friend and i see you guys in the next one peace